Oh, this fit. She is fit. She's wearing a fit. Oh, she's cultured. I am a Filipino. Honor of Asian American Pacific Islander Month, I want to share with you. Yeah, you. What to love about Filipinos? Make sure to like and subscribe. And with that, let's get started. You can find us anywhere on the planet. Joe Koi shared with us on Netflix how Filipinos are basically the Mexicans of Asia. And I kind of want to go like a step, like a step up from that. I would like to say that Filipinos are basically like the pit bull of pretty much the planet, you know, like Mr. Robot. The planet we're basically like a mafia or like a worldwide network single place that i have been there's probably like small to large army of filipinos just like hidden around now let me give you an example i went to iceland pre-covid time period and miraculously my group and i we pulled up to like a filipino restaurant in the middle of iceland which is crazy because like our people, we don't like the cold. You know, we are a tropical people. We do not like cold, but we will go anywhere to make that better shmoney, okay? That shmoney to build our personal wealth, to build our family wealth so that we can give a better opportunity, provide a better opportunity and build better opportunities for our people. On top of us already being pretty much everywhere in the world, we are also well known everywhere in the world. Have been dominating pretty much the ent entertainment industry. You know, Lea Salonga, you know, she has been a trailblazer for Filipinos in musical theater and Disney while she's at it, you know. On top of that, we're also very good dancers. You know, a lot of teams on America's Best Dance Crew had Filipino members on their team. Now, a very you know famous example is Dietrich, who was on Quest Crew. And if you don't know him, I suggest you uh, look him up. <laughs> we have been pretty good in sports. Uh, Filipinos, we love basketball, but you know, again, our biggest, biggest you know support for sports is Manny Pacquiao, who opened you know, the gateway for boxing for Filipinos. And, you know, there's also an iconic Filipino team that I didn't, you know, that's iconic for a different reason, the Filipino diving team. If you watch the first YouTube clip of them, you, you'll understand why. Now for the beauty industry, uh, we have been Miss Universe winners multiple times, not just one time, but multiple times. With YouTube, we have Brett McRock, who, by the way, has his own MTV show. We have uh, TikTok, you know, Bella Porch. She's actually an incredibly good singer. I know she released a few good songs that I was really into. I don't have TikTok, so I don't watch her on that, but I know, like, she's pretty good. Uh, we also are well known for singing. We just finished destroying the Grammys, while we're at it, uh, you know, we have Olivia Rodrigo, her, Sweetie, you know. Honestly, that's not all the Filipinos in the world it, that are very well known. Again, I don't, I don't know everyone. Comment below if there's someone that I missed that you would like to give, you know, a nice little shout out to. You have a very large family. Like, every time my mom goes to a grocery store, especially Seafood City, it's like we have like a brand new relative that we find every single day. And the way that, you know, since our family is so large, I would say like 50% are actually blood related to you. And the other 50% are just the people that your parents just decided, you know what, the, 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 you know, cousin, even though they're not blood related to you, they just, you know, they're just adopted into your family already because of the single prerequisite of that they are Filipino. Even just being a little drop of Filipino, that's all it takes. <laughs> we do this because a lot of us have left the Philippines. We know what it's like to be in a new environment and not know anyone and be outnumbered like two million or so to one, or at least that's how it feels like a lot of times. So then like when you see another Filipino, you just grab them and be like, you are stuck with me. You are now my family. You know, we are tight. You know, we are a community now. We are our own 
little community of support, which I love. It's honestly pretty great. Oh my God, y'all, we love food. Non-Filipinos, y'all need to listen up, okay? Whenever I go to a non-Filipino party, like there is a good chance that there is not enough food or there is no food. Um, I get so annoyed when I roll up to a party, whenever that is, I don't know, pre-pandemic times or whatever, and there is just like chips, you know, maybe a salsa, you know, like small things. Well, we, we like to, you know, make it as like a, a big feast, no matter what the event is. And the best part about Filipino food it is so diverse, considering that there's 7,000 plus islands. With that, there are different cuisines and everyone makes their food differently. Like, even if you have like a normal like pancit canton, somehow like everyone just makes it differently. We have the longest Christmas probably in the entire world. Christmas starts like in September. And I'm not joking when I say that our reasoning is because it's the bear months. You know, there is no winter in the Philippines. So we just kind of made our own. So like literally from September to like January, it's all Christmas. Americans, they start playing Christmas music on the radio after Thanksgiving, or even if they want to be a little bit early, probably like after Halloween. Like, we over here are like, why are y'all late? Why are y'all late to the game celebrating Christmas? And which is funny because we are late to everything except the airport. <laughs> On top of Christmas being like the longest holiday, it is also the most expensive holiday because we have very, very, very large families. And every family must have a gift because it's wrong. It's wrong to not give gifts to your family members. Non-Filipinos, whenever they say like, oh yeah, I have like these cousins, it's like 20 people. Yeah, no, for us, it's like a hundred plus and like a good percentage of them are not actually blood related, but we just chose to adopt them into our family anyway. So yeah, it is the longest and most expensive, but also the most fun time of the year. Every Filipino, has a giant stack of plastic grocery bags that are hidden under their cabinet or in some drawer somewhere. I know what you're thinking, you know, plastic bags, you know, that's not so great for the planet. But let me let me further explain. These plastic bags for everything and anything. We will use it for our trash bags. You know, I know people who buy trash bags, you know, like the trash bags for like, you know, like in your bathroom and whatnot. I know people who buy those, like, well, why would you buy those? Also use it for, you know, like packing up, you know, your to-go food. That's right. We do not believe in food waste here. Pretty much every single Filipino party you go to, you will take home leftovers. In fact, they will beg you to take home leftovers. I know in other cultures, it's considered rude to kind of ask for leftovers, but for us, we are more practical. We don't, if you are the host and nobody takes home any leftovers, that's too much food for you. So again, you wanna make your guests happy, you wanna be hospitable and let them take that home. We will even have like, you know, the party plates, we'll use foil, you know, tin foil is our best friend. We won't give you like a small amount. We will like put it, put so much food to the point where like it's good it's like loaded up <laughs> show up and support our fellow filipinos whenever there is a filipino who makes it on the big stage for any reason whatsoever we are there like we will show up in in an army to support and you know how you know we're there no when filipinos are supporting you because we are probably the loudest people in the room. When a group of fellow Filipinos get together, you know, we are loud. So just imagine like a gigantic army of Filipinos. We, you will know when we're there, you will know. We are 
very proud of our fellow Filipinos who make it in the big leagues and we want to show our support and our pride for our people however we can. I mean, look at me. I'm literally wearing like Filipino pride right here, you, you know? Well, I don't want to turn around all the way, but you get the idea, you know? <laughs> I wore this jacket intentionally for the Filipino-ness. I, I, like if I can't get any more than that. <laughs> It to the end that's great thank you so much for watching this video i hope my fellow filipinos like this video and i hope my fellow non-filipinos learn something new through this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time